In Sporting News Today, Cristiano Ronaldo gets VIP treatment at the Euro Tournament. David Nalbandian injures a line judge. Scalk burgers a cricket fan. Root Gullet dumped by his wife. And Tony Parker injured in a fight. Cristiano Ronaldo is a star, the star of the Portuguese squad. His special status means he gets VIP treatment during the Euro 2012 tournament. According to Spanish website Sport, Ronaldo is the only player on his team to have his own suite. Also, two bodyguards are in charge of his security. But his teammates don't seem to mind. It's not as if they have too much to complain about. Portugal are staying in the same luxury hotel as France, where rooms cost the Portuguese Football Federation $42,000 a day. By means of comparison, reigning European and world champion Spain only spent $5,000 a day to lodge its team. Refereeing is a risky business. A line judge at the Aegon Championships discovered this at his expense during the final between David Nalbandian and Marine Cilic. While leading the match 7-6-3-3, Nalbandian lost his temper and kicked an advertising board, injuring the line judge behind it in the process. When the Argentinian sees red, he doesn't do things by halves. The poor judge ended up with a gash in his tibia. Now Benjin was disqualified on the spot, so his impetuous conduct cost him a prestigious title. Perhaps next time he'll think twice before letting his emotions get the better of him. Scalp Burger is a rugby heavyweight, literally, not to mention his list of accomplishments on the pitch. The 6'3 South African won the World Cup in 2007 and the Tri-Nations Tournament twice. With his physique and a father who was also a Springbok star, Berger was destined to be a great rugby player. But it turns out that cricket was his first love. I actually finished uh, school with a, with a cricket contract and uh, cricket was my first love at school. I think partly because you know I really enjoyed it and partly because the accolades just came so much better, uh, better and quicker than my rugby accolades. I started playing first team when I was 14 years old and I played uh, first league cricket in the Boerland when I was 15 years old. So uh, I just loved it uh, and uh, I think a lot of, uh, of that has got to do is that I took part in the fines meetings afterwards playing senior cricket and they allowed me to have one or two beers in the fines meeting so uh, whenever I arrived back home you know my eyes was nice and shiny my mom said did they make you drink beer in the fines meeting I said yes it was actually my my favorite part of cricket back then learn more about Scott Burgers soon and up close with on Trey Sports six foot eight and 250 pounds of muscle LeBron James is no featherweight, but his build doesn't stop him from soaring through the air to score points. Proof in this new campaign for Nike Plus. This technology appeared in 2006 and collects important data about players' performances. The brand has now integrated this microchip technology into its shoes. Speed, distance covered, heart rate, and vertical leap. Users will be able to analyze all sorts of data to improve their game. As for James, he has a phenomenal vertical leap of 40.3 inches. And now we understand why he gets so much airtime. Ruud Gullit is going through a bad patch. The retired Dutch international has confirmed that he was getting a divorce. Gullit married Estelle, the niece of another Dutch football legend, Johan Cruyff, in 2000, and they have two children together. As it turns out, Estelle is the one walking out on their marriage. She explained to Dutch paper De Telegraph that Ruud was an excellent father, that she had wonderful times by his side, but that she couldn't deal with his philandering anymore. She's now in love with Moroccan world kickboxing champion Badr Hari, who's 21 years Ruud Gullit's junior. Gullit didn't take the news too well. The former AC Milan star apparently never saw it coming. And as it never rains, it pours, Ruud can't even seek comfort in the performances of his team at the European Championship. The Netherlands were eliminated from the group phase without registering a single point. 
Tony Parker sustains an eye injury. During a party at swanky New York nightclub Club WIP, Parker was collateral damage in a fight between Drake and Chris Brown. The two rappers reportedly tossed bottles at each other and an almost general brawl broke out between the members of their entourage. TP, who was out on the town with famous DJ Cut Killer, says he tried to protect his girlfriend Excel as bottles flew from all sides. As a result, the San Antonio Spurs point guard suffered a scratched cornea. The basketball player won't be taking part in practice for a week. A setback in his preparation for the Olympic Games in London this summer, where Parker is hoping to win a medal for France.